Oh my god! Do you know what it's time for? A sexy party! So get ready, cause here we go! This is gonna be fun! Gorge! Your views will make me stronger! For the sexual thrill! So you're not gonna leave a like? What, you think you're better than me? Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> Hope you enjoy! Hey everybody, it's me, Gur, and we're doing a Let's Play of Persona 3 Portable. I'm joined by the lovely Blissy. Say hi, Blissy. Hi, Blissy. God damn it. <laughs> 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 All right, so <laughs> this is going to be a, an extremely long Let's Play. I'm talking like, uh, you know, 60 plus hours, so expect a lot of episodes. We're going to go for about an hour each time. And as you guys can see, I have already beaten this game, so we're just going to go ahead and do New Game Plus. So don't worry about why. Uh, and we can choose either the female protagonist or the male protagonist. Which one do you want to do? Let's do the female. Okay. Why not? Please choose the gender. We'll do female. Begin the story with female character. Yes. Choose difficulty. We'll go with normal. Something yes. about females kicking ass. I kind of like that idea. Now please enjoy the game. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in this game are purely the... Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm not reading that. <laughs> it's a butterfly. Butterfly. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter with your heart as your guide. Oh my. That's, that's intense. <laughs> Party moon. Terminal station, even. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it in my head. And it pulls a trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. So, Blissey, do you have questions? <laughs> <laughs> Inside the new city passenger train, uh, I'm mid hazard in the bucket, something forward. <laughs> Function in the switching system, today's real schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Butterfly. So really no commentary? Girl about to kill herself? <laughs> <laughs> Really, you got nothing to say? <laughs> Please take care to board Apparently, uh, people killing each other in front of freight trains is like a thing that I see in Japanese uh, horror movies. Well, no, I mean, she was in her room and holding a gun to her head. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. Tick. Talk. Tick. Electricity went out. Probably not a good sign. No. Some, uh, something about the atmosphere seems odd. And feel free to read any of this aloud as well, <laughs> pussy. Jeez. <laughs> Don't make me read everything. Fuck. Of course. Of course. Read it. It's probably best to hurry to the dorm. How about I read the female stuff? Okay. You just read the commentary, the narrator stuff. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Oh my. Uh-oh. That's very ominous. Probably not as ominous as it seems. The moon's green. It's an eerily gigantic moon.
So this is going to be very story driven, guys. So like, yeah. Gekukan High School Iwatodai uh, Iwa Dorm. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. I would not want to come to this school. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. That's not creepy. <laughs> An unborn, unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. Ah. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds yeah, yeah, you why to not? accepting full responsibility for your actions. Binds you? Something is written on the paper him? he's holding out to you. I choose this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Yeah, sure. Why not sign my name? All right. What should we name our, uh, our protagonist? I, mm. I'll let you choose this. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Give her a second, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. What about, uh... Okay. Uh, we can do that. Shiru. Okay, Shiru. C-H-I-R-U. I... Yes. Last name? There's a last name? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you pick the last name since I picked the first name? Um, uh, I don't know. I never thought I'd get this far. <laughs> Oops. Go back. Chewy Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're going to call you ch uh, Cherry Chan. <laughs> Cherry Chan? <laughs> so, we're, we're, we're Chiru Cherry. <laughs> Chiru Cherry, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers Again, not creepy us at all. all to the same uh, end. I'm sure it's fine. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. The unknown boy disappeared, as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. The girl is holding something that looks like a gun. Wait! <gasps> the Do they know me? Us? I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in this dorm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. Hi, Yukari. She'll be a junior Hi. this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Hi, Yukari. Okay, dialogue nice. options. Nice. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say it. <laughs> what? Why? Why do you have a gun? Huh? Um. Well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Dormitory, third floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Let's see here, what about... Uh, I signed a contract. Huh? What's this about a contract? Kari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? But what do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Again, not creepy at all. 
You can probably walk down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Is it pink inside? Okay, uh, yes. It's kind of your color. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go here for a second and turn this on so that I don't have to constantly be pressing X to continue. It'll just advance the dialogue automatically. So we're going to go to bed. You were tired today. You should go to bed early. Sleep. Okay. We're going night-night. Night-night. April 7th, Tuesday. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Totally. Okay, then let's go. <laughs> Inside the new city passenger train, Anahizaru. Zuru. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're riding at the sea. Our stop is Port She's Island Station at the end of the line. Mic. <laughs> From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of right Katsumi back. Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukon High. You're gonna love it here. Those trees are pretty. It's pretty. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Where is my classroom? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. That's not ominous at any... Okay, Why can't I tell anyone what I saw? In... <laughs> there are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Okay. Faculty office, I already know where it is. So I'm going to go there. Okay. Again, I've beat played this game. Uh, enter. enter. Right. Oh, okay. are you the new student? 11th grade, <laughs> correct? <laughs> <laughs> the teacher's flipping through pages in a file. Wow. I hate to be uh, with this name. Places. People would actually make fun of you to have this in name. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents? I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. I'm pleased to meet you. My, aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Uh-huh. <laughs> student life, this means... <laughs> Probably. Principal continues with his speech. You can hear st uh, the students around you whispering about something. We got a transfer student. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. It doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. So I guess we are the talk of the, the school. Yep. Home room is over. Your first after school Sup, session dude. is about to begin. <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Who, who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking Also, hi, Vic <laughs> <laughs> again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? Oof. <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It took me by surprise. <laughs> you too? Um, hello. Hey. Did you forget I'm in this class too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? <laughs> I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. 
The whole class was buzzing about you. Uh, could you just <laughs> out? I hate dealing with Love rumors it. like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try Ooh, anything archery. funny. You got that, Junpei? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is she, your nanny? Well, just to clear <laughs> something up. I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. I'll remember that. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll be seeing you around then. He probably wants to get in your pants. Probably. <laughs> Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk well, you back to the dorm. Check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei while walking back. <laughs> There's a sign and shoot on the counter. Okay, save game. Welcome back. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it, because why not? Uh, save. I'm gonna make a new save file. Right. So, so what is our, our thing to do here? We have to, like, do, do like, get, go into romance or kill things? Like, what do we have to do for this game? Uh, a bit of both. So, kill okay. things and romance, got it. Alright, we haven't gotten to the kill things part, we'll explain that later. Okay. Uh, so, first thing we're gonna do... We're gonna have to see what Mitsuru has to say. Mitsuru, okay. What's Hikari doing? Just looking around. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's head to bed. Letter at the dormitory lounge. I'm oh, going after a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the Bye newspapers back. lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often. Lately. Apathy syndrome? They say it's due to stress. But... Oh, is it because of the whole yeah, killing right. thing in the it beginning? It has to be them. Otherwise, yeah. it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Which I'm sure is fine. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. April 8th. <clears throat> you overhear a conversation. Did you hear that, Bruno? Oh, um, something about the bathroom? No! <laughs> Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming. It's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? First bell is run. Let's... I think. Open your textbooks and we'll talk. We'll, we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzu Kasai. I was like him. <laughs> I'd rather teach uh, Utsubo Kubota? Kubota. <laughs> he's, he became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, well I'll just bring uh, Kubota's uh, book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? <laughs> uh, <laughs> huh? Um, I'll be the teacher. Psst. What does she like? Uh, Utsuba Kubota. That's <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> That's right. So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Chiru. <laughs> you hear your craftsmates whispering. Chiru gave him the ransom. She must pay attention in class. It became slightly more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Your child is the best. <laughs> oh my god. Class is ended for today. There's nothing to do. You decide to go back to the dorm. <laughs> Don't question it. It's fine. It's fine. The dormitory lounge. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school, Ikutsuki. Hi. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like uh -huh. to ask? Uh, uh, why did you come here? 
to welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say Sorry. Do you have another question? Um, who? I saw something odd. You saw something strange. Oh, like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's so they don't even. Oh, okay, I'm not going to acknowledge what I saw. I got it. Do you That's have another fine. question? Who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all so get it's a little boy a ghost? Do you have uh, I don't know. I guess so. No, not really. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be okay. tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. Book do bookworms <laughs> exist? You'll get used I, to his I don't lame know. jokes. You should rest for today. Okay. Oh, I look so cute. <laughs> Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. That's fine. Meanwhile, in the back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. All right, then. Dun, dun, dun. That's not <laughs> ominous at all. Oh, I'm not sure. It's fine. Screen again. What the? What's happening to me? I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you keep saying that. It makes me wonder if you really think that. <laughs> Back in a certain room in the dormitory. <laughs> She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. Mm. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. So we're lab rat, got it. Bad, though, spying yeah, on pretty her much. Like this. <laughs> Sleepies. Sleepies. <laughs> Messages. Door. We're going in the door. Don't go into the light. I'm Welcome sure this is fine. To the velvet room. My name is okay. Igor. I am dealing Why is it always Igor? Your acquaintance. <laughs> this place exists between Pull the lever. and reality. Pull the lever, matter. Crunk. <laughs> Only those Wrong who lever. have signed the contract can enter this place. Pepper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the velvet room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. That you're you so abide by the contract. I was going to say and slowly takes off bra. <laughs> 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 uh, is this a dream? Precisely. 
You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, it's not if it's real. You will come <laughs> here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. Obtained velvet key. But I'll make sure Oops, you two are properly thing. introduced. Bye. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. April 9th, 2009. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. <laughs> Are we going with Hikari again? Yeah, man, I'm so sleepy today. Times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't don't sleep in class. <laughs> what? Well, why do you have to be all serious? The feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have a classic literature today. Anyways, we're stuck with Mr. Na um, Mr. Nasty Old Lakota. <laughs> Ahem! I'm Mr. Lakota. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. So people say classic literature is relevant to everyday life, but oh how they're wrong! The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on your syllabus is Issei uh, Monogatari. Monogatari. The origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You just might call it the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying too hard! <sighs> I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. <laughs> Morning. After school. <laughs> you met Yukari at the shoebox and we decided to go back together. Aww. Polonia Mall. Have you come here before? A lot of Gekukon students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, karaoke. too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. The Polonia Mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. Welcome back. Hi, the moon is beautiful tonight. That'd be a nice... Okay. Let's just head back to the room. I am, motherfucker. So don't fucking rush me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Feel tired. Bid. Is there anything here? So the mirror reflects your regular face. You have a regular face? Yes. You were tired today. You should go to bed early. Okay, fine. You were tired. Okay. Stop yelling at me! <laughs> <laughs> Kiss telling me to go to bed! <laughs> <laughs> The dark hour is upon us. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! At a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But I'm not your guinea pig. Like a guinea pig. I I'm not your guinea pig. <laughs> but it's <laughs> you that it. we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. An emergency call from outside ranks of the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Da, 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 da. Uh. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. 
Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting <laughs> for, Ikari? Go! Ha I'm going! Your room. You're welcome uh, by the noise outside. Should you go check outside? Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? Hurry, downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Yukari had you do a long, thin implement. It seems to be a Naginata. Okay, let's go. Fungle me. What's a Naginata? Is it like a sword? Uh, a, uh, I think it's All like right. a spear. We should um. be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. Second floor. What was that? I'm sure it's fine. It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry. What the hell did they bring us into? The dormitory rooftop. Yes, because the rooftop is the safe place. I think we're safe for now. What the hell? What the hell? You gotta be kidding me! He climbed up the wall. Tada! There, they're on the roof. What the it's hell? <laughs> Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. They're gonna make no. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah. I have to fight it. I can summon mine. No problem. What the hell? We have to fight that thing? Yep. But it has knives. She's gonna shoot herself again, right? What? What the hell? Thou art I, and I am thou. <laughs> what the hell? I apologize for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> noise in the background and uh blissy's end uh that is what uh, having a kid is like which is fine it's fine we'll get used to it sometimes we may even incorporate him into the earth was that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh that was a persona Ta-da! wow so wow the sun spell of power has subsided Orpheus regained its original form. You have attained a new persona. Huh. So that's why they call it persona. Yeah. Is it over? <laughs> it's still moving. Piece of shadow is uh, heading. <coughs> no. Get away from me. You have to save her. Go, Orpheus. I don't know. <laughs> Right, here's the combat system. Okay, let's attack them. So that must be the the thing that is, yeah. Bash. Slap the bit. So basically, so basically, we shoot our heads, and that okay. Gives well, out let me the explain uh, the reasoning behind that. So, a persona is a manifestation of your personality and/or psyche. Mm-hmm. And in order to summon it, you have to put your body in a state of stress. 
And what better way to do that than to simulate suicide? Oh. Yeah. Something inside you has changed. Morpheus level two. This is cool. Yep. And uh, there, it goes by arcanas and stuff for like your personality and stuff. Gotcha. The monsters are gone. You're losing consciousness. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Come on, please. Can you hear me? Answer me. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, hey, look. Hey, you're back in the velvet room. This is the velvet room, wasn't it? It's so nice to see you again. You became Bye. unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Per persona? Wait. My, my psyche. There we go. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. A mask? When you use your persona <laughs> ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. That's what he said last time, too. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, time skip. That happened. How many days dot, dot, was dot. that? Your head is getting clearer. Dot, dot, dot. You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Where, where am I? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um. So you were in a coma for over a week and a half. <laughs> Dude, exhaustion. Word. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone Which sucks. too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting you too. I'm sorry. Uh, apparently there's a rainbow, guys. <laughs> it's not your fault. Thanks. But it's not still, your fault. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from her. As soon as she wakes up, I'll tell her the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right. I'm gonna oh, get she's going. nice. I'll let the others yeah. know you woke up. We like up. you, Kari. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second year girl's got to stick up for each other after all. Bye. We like you, Kari. Twentieth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we about a week. Yeah, a long time no see. What's up? Do you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. What? What is it? Actually. Oh wait, 
I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Someone's full of energy today. I heard you from all the way over here. Hey, it's Yucatan. You two live in the same dorm yet comp uh, came separately today. Is it because you caused, uh, because of all the many rumors again? Hmm? <laughs> what? I just left, left a little late. Anyway, I need to talk to her. Bye bye, Junpei. What? <laughs> Are you feeling better? Chiru? Um, sorry to hit you with the fifth, with this first thing in the morning. But, Ikusuki san wanted to talk to you today. Uh, ha ha. Ikutsuki san wanted to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's enough about mammoths. <laughs> I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. Ugh. Title lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. No, I'm not. I'm paid to do this. I've got to. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Hey, Junpei. What was the style of houses in the Jomon period called? Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick, Chiru. What the heck is he talking about? <laughs> um. I, I happen to know the correct answer. It's mud huts. <laughs> <laughs> Mud huts. <laughs> That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Ah! I want to get the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey! I answered right. And I didn't get any credit! Oh well. Thanks, Gina. You hear the, your classmates whispering. She told, uh, she were told Junpei the right answer. She's really smart. Became slightly more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Class is ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decide to go back early. We'll keep going until the next save point. <laughs> There's no one in the lounge. You were told to go to the fourth floor. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Fourth, fourth floor. floor, hallway. No. A room on the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Ah, All right. There you are. I'm glad that you're okay. I wasn't sure what I'd do if anything had happened to you. The reason I That's asked not you creepy. here is because I <laughs> need to talk to you. Please, uh, have a seat. Okay. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Hi. Okay. Let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? No. <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, <laughs> you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out. Nothing was working. There were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Which is definitely weird. H hidden? I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal oh my. people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. Uh -huh. We saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified C's as a candy. school club, <laughs> but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. So, zombie apocalypse happening. Great! Uh <laughs> <laughs> what about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do anything during the dark hour. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, 
With the power you used the other night, the shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. Uh, I, I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Mitsuru opens the case on the table. A silver gun gleams uncannily from inside. So what they want me to have a gun too. We want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. This reminds me of um that one that one anime I watched a while ago. Yeah. Forgot the name of it. I'll, I'll look for it later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Do I have a chance, Thank Joyce? You so much. Not really. I'm really glad. <laughs> That's what oh, I think so. I almost forgot about your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that? Oh, never mind. You join C's to fight the shadows. Dun dun dun. A voice brings in your head. The fool. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed with when creating personas of the fool arcana. You have established the C's social link on the, of the full arcana. You may not. Okay. Yeah. You feel your inner strength growing. You recall what Igor said about the power of social links. The intensity of social links strengthens the power of personas. Social links are those the bonds you form with other people you meet. You are still tired from your hospital stay. You decide to return to your room. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Tick. 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 <laughs> Dark hour. Dun, dun, dun. As you were dozing off, you felt someone's presence. Hi, how are you? It's that boy again. Who are you? We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. That's not ominous. I thought I should tell you. The end? The end of everything. Oh my. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh. Looks like you've awakened to your power, and an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. The boy disappeared. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you think the others forgot about him and that's what he meant? I don't know. Maybe. Morning. Um, thanks about yesterday. Akihiko Senpai is injured too and I was really uneasy about working alone with Misuri Senpai. Leave it to me! <laughs> yeah, let's do our best together. But I was wondering when Senpai's injury is gonna heal. He said it wasn't a major injury. Who knows what it is. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Whatever it is. Okay. Yukari began talking to you in class. I thought I was gonna <sighs> put in there. This one's voice. <laughs> Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Pause it for a minute. And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Uh, that is she going back? She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Seems that Jim Pye was listening too. <laughs> He's being nosy. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just never mind. Let's go. <laughs> Ibutodai strip mall. We're gonna strip. Is that happening? Uh, yeah, earlier, pretty much. It's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. You know, <laughs> last year he. 
You can take it to gossip all the way back to the door. <laughs> Jeez. Dormitory, fourth floor, command room. Mitsuru and Akihito are already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. This is Junpei. <laughs> What's up? I knew it! <laughs> Why are you here? This is Junpei Hiyori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. Ah. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> I <laughs> called it. crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Uh-huh. Uh-uh. I was okay. I, I was okay, though. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. It happens to all us Persona users. <laughs> God damn it. But Matt, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, glad to join the team. Let's do our best. You can count on me. Did I join C's? Well, enough with the introduction. Yeah, C's candy. I think we're about ready. Okay. Everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. I have no idea what the timer is at, but For fuck it, time, we're fine. Uh, we'll just go until Akihiko the next day. The point. only Persona <laughs> users we had, but that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. <laughs> you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax. I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What yeah. you, Mr. Chairman? Huh? I'll I'm sure it's you. fine. <laughs> as you know, I can't summon a persona. Dekukan High School, front gate. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> tick. Talk. Tick. 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 Talk. 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 <laughs> Everything's green again. Oh my. So that happened. <laughs> This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> so this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. Big clock. All right, then. Oh, it's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. 
This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh me, 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 <laughs> me. Uh, <laughs> you're in charge. What? But, but she's a girl. That's sexist. Well, she <laughs> door. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? You betcha. <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. Oh? A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? The velvet key is in your hand, and it's shiny. The key fit into the door's keyhole as if it were being sucked in. No! Don't tell me. I've been waiting for you. The time has Just come you for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. The nature of my power? Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty. But at the same time, holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce, but please come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role. The manner in which I can best assist you. Ah, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? The little boy. Um, is it a man? I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. My name is Theodore, but please... Oh. Feel free to call me Theo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Well, all right then. He cute. <laughs> hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Really? Uh, wait, sorry. I opened this door and... Huh? What door? I, I don't see any door. You don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. Come on, let's go. Guess you don't see the door. Okay, uh, and here is our first save point. So we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. If you guys want more of this, let us know. This has been Persona 3 Portable. Anything Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Anything you want to say before we go, Blissey? Um, come check us out next time. Yeah, that too. Uh, bye everybody. Bye. Hey, did you like this video? Then how about subscribing to the channel? Make sure to ring that bell and check out what else I've got here. And while you're at it, why not support me on Patreon and follow me on Twitch? Sound good? Awesome. Till next time, guys, this has been Gur. See you later.